SmartCam version 19.5 delivers new and improved features in both production turning and advanced turning. Our significant developments include an updated and extended thread cycle, an enhanced groove process, plus a new geometry groove feature element has been added, and a new part-off process is now available. Here is a short overview of these enhancements. First, the new thread cycle. This is the new panel for it. SmartCam users will quickly identify the improved layout and functions. All threading parameters are now accessible from this panel or alternatively from the Cycle Parameters dialog box. New features added to threading include an outfeed angle on the main panel and here on the Parameters dialog box we have the depth controls plus new options for setting end extension and spring passes. Now let's quickly demonstrate some of those options by recalling and modifying this basic threading cycle. First, let's show path the existing cycle. We are going to adjust the start and end extensions of this cycle and also change the outfeed angle. Modify the start and end extensions. Add 0.1 inches at the start and 0.25 at the end. And alter the outfeed angle to 60 degrees. We re-simulate toolpath to see the effects of those parameter changes. Smart cam threading improvements mean that customers have greater control when setting and modifying individual threading cycles. With this improved control over thread parameters, a thread blunting technique can be easily programmed. A blunting operation feathers the first thread, making assembly of threaded parts easier and reducing the chance of cross-threading. A grooving insert can now be used in a threading cycle for this purpose. Next, we will take a look at the changes and enhancements made to the SmartCam turning groove process. SmartCam turning is now more productive than ever before. This groove toolpath was generated using a solid groove process in SmartCam Advanced Turning, but the wireframe based process also benefits from the new functions. We'll recall the existing process and study the new options. We have programmed a basic groove roughing process with a 5 thousandths finishing allowance on Z-faces and 10 thousandths on diameters. The Groove Parameters panel now includes three new options. Clean up cusps, used to generate semi-finishing toolpath. Finish to size, to enable finishing passes. Previously, Groove Finishing toolpath required a separate process. And Reverse Progression, which can be used to control the direction of groove cuts away from the shoulder at the left of our groove, rather than toward it. We enable clean up cusps, regenerate the process, and simulate the results. The original roughing cuts, and the semi finishing pass. Now we'll enable the Finish to Size option to enable finishing passes. Regenerate the process and we can see that Finishing Toolpath has been added to the model. Show Path Toolpath Simulation again shows the result. The use of the Geometry Groove tool has been extended in SmartCam version 19.5. Previously it generated toolpaths only. Now it can also be used to create a new Groove Feature Geometry element to which the grooving process, or any turn roughing process, can be applied. This is beneficial by enabling easier definition of basic Groove features and toolpaths, plus the ability to use the more advanced strategies of the SmartCam Groove Rough process. We'll finish our version 19.5 turning demonstration with a look at the new parting off process. 
Part off cuts can now be programmed parametrically using this new process. We have used it in our example component, and here is the new process panel. The start location is the coordinates of the back face and diameter to be parted off. End diameter is used when parting off a tube or a board component. And the corner break, break type and dimensions can be used to program a blend or chamfer on the part, the stock or both. The Parameters dialog box contains controls to enable pecking and peck depth. Lift off is the distance of a move away from the stock face after parting off. And notice that we have enabled synchronization of a part catcher, with options to bring the part catcher in before parting off, or when a specific part off diameter is reached. You have seen that SmartCam's new part-off process eliminates the need to create individual toolpath elements and provides access to all part-off parameters in a single, regenerable process element. We have shown you how the enhancements made in SmartCam version 19.5 turning applications will help you to generate even better quality toolpaths than you did before. For more information on SmartCam version 19.5, Please check the SmartCam CNC website at smartcamcnc.com or call us at 541 344 4563.